And so it begins. In the end, we all burn for our sins. Okay, what's up everybody? This is the game virus also known as the G, -G, 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 -G virus and we are back with more Let's play Silent Hill all the way blind like no idea what the hell's going on or what we're doing First time ever playing it and we are back with it. So uh, a little nice I left you guys I was exploring this new area that we're in the hospital and uh, We met a new guy a new character. I forget his name completely we met him in here You know I, th I think he was kind of short. He was shorter than Harry, wearing a suit, little doctor guy. And, uh, yeah, he went off on his own, like everybody else. He just We meet them, and, they, and then we never see them again, and, you know. So I guess we're just exploring the area. I don't quite remember every room or whatever I looked into, but, um, nothing unusual. I guess we're just gonna, you know, rinse and repeat. Same thing we did in the elementary school, just investigate until we find some shit. You know, I'm looking... Uh, it's just, just, just a matter of time before I get run into riddles and all type of crazy f Oh, we're behind the desk. All right. The only thing here for us, really, is a first aid kit. It's cool with me. And some maps, I think. Yep. These are, like, all the maps. Yeah, hospital maps. Yep. All right. So we got we got maps of the areas now. So I, now I can tell what I've gone into and what I haven't. So first floor. I haven't made it to the second floor. I don't even know where there are stairs. So let's see where there are stairs. Uh, it's those double doors. Those double doors are locked. So I guess I gotta... I thought the double doors were locked. I guess they're not locked, huh? Huh. Maybe they opened up because I got this map. Let's see. Harry can't hop over the table, the, the, the desk right there. Because he's, you know, incredibly non-athletic, I guess. He just can't do it. It's not in his repertoire. No, no, it's jammed. And then what? What double doors are those that are? Oh, now, yeah, now it's scribbled out. I wasn't it scribbled out before? Didn't I check to see that it was locked? Guess not. So where can I go? Uh, mm -hmm. I have to go around. Okay, I have to go into the examination room, then into the medicine room come out into the hallway and go through the doors that way to get to another floor. Maybe I should probably... I guess I've checked everywhere else. That's why there's arrows through them, right? Mm hmm. Perhaps. It amazes me how many times I have to go into this map. I don't know why this game is so disorienting to me. But maybe that's how it was designed. It was designed to be that way. You gotta make use of your map a whole lot. Oh, these are the double doors, right? Watch it be locked! I knew it! Damn it! And that was my way out. <sighs> uh, can I go down? It's an elevator, huh? Uh, Alright. I thought I investigated everything here. Yeah, I investigated all this. I can't remember what I did last episode at all. The elevator doesn't appear to be working. Yeah, I investigated that already. Yeah, yeah, I remember I talked about this area. So I guess I'm looking for... Is that a girl? Supposed to be a little kid up there? Can't tell. The poster is so pixelated, it's just... Can't even make it out. Oh! Oh, I forgot I had this key! Forgot I had a key on me, shit! Basement key- Oh, fuck, this looks bad. <sighs> this looks like a bad idea, shit. Cutscene or st- Oh. Oh no, Harry. This looks like a bad idea. They got music going. Oh shit, it's dark! That's crazy. So I guess different parts of the areas can be darkened like that. It's not just like, I thought it was like some type of like eclipse that would happen or like a changing of like something whenever it got dark like that. But I guess rooms can just be like that. I thought the entire area became that way when it's, when you know, when it became dark, but I guess 
Shit, turn that off. There's something here. Oh, it's just a little bugs. They could. I thought I couldn't be spotted in the dark. That's what the tip said, but I guess that's not the case. I could still be spotted because they sure came after me. I mean, maybe it's because I turned it on for a brief second. Is this where I came from? Yeah, went the wrong way. Well, there's a lot of doors here. Everything's locked up though. Fucking centipede pincher bug things that over here still isn't working no matter what floor. Is everything locked or what? Is this where I came in from? I keep going back from where I came in from. Alright, right there. Let's check this door out. There we go. Something has to be unlocked. Let's get the elevator working. And the camera angles are fucking with me. I thought the camera was about to zoom in on an enemy right there, but it was just readjusting for me. Real creepy. In a real creepy fashion. The in-house generator powers elevators, ICUs, and operating rooms only. Do you want to press this? Do we have power? Oh shit. What the fuck was that? <laughs> what the fuck? Is everything in working order? What's going on? The generator is on, alright. Why does everything sound scary? Everything sounds creepy. So I guess I should see if I could... Let me see. Just go for the elevator down here. Good shit. Ugh. Surprised there's nothing horrible on the elevator. Nice, spacious, fancy elevator. So I'm in the basement. Let's go to the first floor. I'm pretty sure that's where we, uh, where we start off at. Started off at. Yeah. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Cool shit. So, uh, yeah, that's where the basement is. Is anything unlocked as a result of doing that? Now, now that I've done that, can... No. I think the doors that say that they're jammed, they just open on their own whenever you make enough progress or do the right thing or something like that. And if they're locked, you just gotta find a key or unlock it by going and through it through from the other side or something. Second floor we go. Do I even have... Did I even look at the third floor map? Yeah, look at that. there's a lot of it's a lot of rooms, man. We're gonna be in this hospital for a while. I shudder to think what it's gonna be like when it goes to hell. It's just one room, and it's jammed. Can't even can't even examine the second floor at all. So I guess I'll just head to the third. I feel so lonely. Oh, good thing the lights are still on, though. Watch this be jammed up, too. Yep, oh, so I guess, you know. Do I have another key on me that I just don't know about? Why are they randomly playing spooky music? What the hell? Empty bottle found in the kitchen of the hospital. Oh, some of these items I forget I have. Pyramid shaped object found in the church. Still don't know what to do with it. Random scary music. Alright, well, back to the first floor. Looks like we're not, uh, we got the elevator working for no reason. Can't really. Oh shit, there's a fourth floor! Really? Hey, how am I missing that? I don't have the fourth floor map. Was there always a fourth floor? Is this game fucking with me? Another game likes to do that. Just gonna keep adding floors. Hot eyes. Yeah, I don't even notice shit. Watch it be dark up here too. I got that music playing. Oh shit. Cutscene. Yep. It's taking forever to load. What the fuck? Okay. What the hell was that? Oh shit, it's it's all hell already? Yup, it's all fucked up. This is what I was worried about. I was worried about this shit right here. Oh, fuck. Oh yeah, of course this is open. Damn it, the one door I don't want to be open is open. The fuck was that? The fuck's going on, man? Oh man. I've had nightmares like this. 
it's on several occasions where I'm like in some type of place or building and I'm like either going up a flight of stairs or in an elevator going to like the highest floor the forgotten floor or some shit or like I'm in like a school or something like that my old elementary school and there's like a secret floor that I, I for some whatever reason I stumble upon and it's like the top floor and shit and it's all creepy and old and just forgotten and scary <laughs> is what this just reminded me of I've had that dream quite a few times and this just made me remember it random cutscene a second ago with a girl walking in it looked like she was outside in like an urban area going into a liquor store or something you know I'm getting a pack of smokes Has my flashlight automatically on? Now keep that off, Harry. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's locking behind me? Yup! That's fucked up. <laughs> Alright, Silent Hill. You really trying to fuck around, huh? Is, is this what it's come to, huh? This is this downright cruelty what you're doing. Well, my radio ain't going, so there's no reason to turn my flashlight off. I don't have a map for this area. Oh, shit. This is not good. I should pull out my shotgun. Another cutscene? Nope. Let me get my shotgun ready. I'm ready for you bastards. So far, there hasn't been anything too threatening to me. I haven't been able to handle it, except for that boss, but that was just my own stupidity. Oh, the music is building up. Oh, shit. We're on the third floor now. But from the other side? Yeah. So was the third floor and second floor always looking like this? All ate up? I wasn't expecting to be in the, in the fucked up shitty version of the hospital so fast. But I'm here. Ah! Shit. Oh yeah, I didn't know that was gonna be. I was expecting it to be locked. That's why when it when I went through, it kind of scared me. Shit. Well, I'm in the stairwell now. I might as well. I think that was a new enemy. Oh shit! Oh. Oh shit! It's running. <laughs> That's that nurse I was talking about, I think, in the previous videos. I was talking about the enemies that I've seen just through being a gamer. You know, with bits and pieces I've seen of this game. Little nurse ladies, but she didn't look like she was... I don't know. I thought she, I thought they'd look a little different than that, but... Um, fuck it, I'm, I'm just gonna blast her. Shit, I got a, I got a boomstick. I'm feeling, I'm feeling strong. She got... What's what's, what's, what's on her back? Cut it out. What the fuck is that? Stomper, Harry? Oh. What the hell is that on her back? I'm definitely digging the music, though. Definitely digging this hospital way more than I was the elementary school. It's pretty cool. Got doors locking behind me. Got new enemies. Cre the creepy, possessed nurses. The music's cool. Oh shit. Can he, can he fall in there? I can't see ahead of me. Might be another enemy. I don't, can't tell if my radio is going or not. And the music is just kicking ass right now. Yeah, alright. There's a lot of doors. I'm pretty sure all of them are locked. Oh shit! Got the shotgun at the ready. Why no music in here? I can't see shit. Like, it's quiet like that. It's kind of... There is a plate of turtle. Plate of turtle? It looks like the uh, pieces are... What were they called? They're like stone pieces in Resident Evil 2 that Claire had to collect to get to a certain area. That looks like it could be one of them. Or a reject of one of them. Yeah, I might miss Resident Evil 2. <laughs> I don't know, I just bringing it up right now made me miss it. Oh! What the fuck was that? Silent Hill's like, fuck you, man. You're playing, you're playing Silent Hill. Don't talk about Resident Evil 2, you motherfucker. 
Cut that shit out. You motherfucker. Oh, uh, Lord. What was that noise? Must there be a new enemy? A new enemy in the uh, hallway now? Or not. It's fucked up. That's where I came in from, right? Yeah. Must there be an enemy back here now? Nope, she's gone. Thank goodness. That was awesome, though. I like that. That's how you introduce enemies, you know? Uh, I don't like it when games introduce enemies through a cutscene or something like that. Except for, like, you know... When Resident Evil did it. With the first ever zombie encounter. That was awesome. You know. Birdcage. It's empty. I think, like, one of the best enemy introductions was in Resident Evil, the original, when there was a cutscene, but it was of the hunter running through doors and hallways trying to get at your ass, but you didn't know what he looked like, though. You just knew something was fucking coming. Yeah. Okay, nothing I can do in here? That shit was awesome. Birdcage is locked, birdcage is empty. What's that on there? Is that, is that just a lock? It has a keyhole. So, I'm not supposed to stick a plate, a turtle plate in there. Oh, all these doors are unlocked, man. I wasn't expecting all that. Save point, alright. On the third floor. Some shotgun bullets. Man, they're giving me a lot of shotgun bullets. Seems like the shotgun puts people down in one hit. They're, they're really making me a bit overpowered, it feels like. VCR. It's old, but usable. Really? That's that's awesome. We're gonna be watching some VHS. Did I check this door right here already? Uh, I swear I get confused and disoriented every time I come in and out of a place. Here are some dryers, useless now. Hopefully nobody's in those dryers, or like a head doesn't fall out and roll after me or anything like that. What the fuck? Something's coming at me. I can't see shit though. Something's coming at me. I can't see a fucking thing. Oh, it's, it's another nurse lady. She can't get to me. It's like two of them. I'm digging those nurse ladies. They're cool. Damn it. Oh, she took a... She can't get past her friend. Oh, shit. They really run at you, don't they? Well, if you guys would, you know, pick your heads up and watch where you're going when you're running, you might have been able to get to me fast enough. You might have stood a chance. I don't know where I'm at. Video. So, that's going to be a... Uh, Something we're gonna have to do later, because you know, Harry felt it necessary to write to write down on his map. If it's supposed to be Harry's handwriting, he's got amazing handwriting. You know, he wrote video so perfect. I don't know, man. I'm just so many damn rooms. Room three oh seven. Music's picking up. I should probably try to play this game at night more. Right now I'm currently playing it during the day. Plate of a cat. But you know, I have to do these let's plays when I can. Time is not a luxury that I have. So sometimes I have to sacrifice atmosphere playing this game in the damn dark to get it done and get it out to you guys but I kind of feel like I'm missing out on the whole flavor of this thing a, a, a little bit because I play it during the day so often it's not intentional though I'm all about playing it in, at night but you know all right what else 
I've been in here already. That's where I came from. I've been here, right? I think I've examined every area. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, linen room. Did I check the storage room yet? It, does, it doesn't have an arrow going through it, or a scribble on it. I don't think I investigated it yet. Uh, music picks up again. It's kind of, it's kind of cool. Music picks up when you go into certain areas for no reason. There's nothing in here. I like the music though. It sounds very slasher flick, like type of slasher movie type of music. All we need is a guy in a hockey mask trying to get out. Oh, a blood pack. What game had blood packs? Oh, there was a game, was it Dino Crisis? Where you could like, throw some blood on the ground? What game had blood? something. I think it would distract enemies. Hmm. Was, I feel like it's a game I've played on this channel before. Wait, what? There's a first aid kit. There's a bottle. What? Harry? There's a bottle filled with some kind of drug. Better leave it. Harry's getting more descriptive, huh? You know? He's talking to us a bit more. That's what I like. I like that shit. Alright. I believe that's all there is to examine on the uh, third floor. I think it's time to go to the second floor. I wonder if I can go down. I should probably see if I can go down the elevator. Mm-hmm. I've investigated every wall, have I? Room 303 and 304 I haven't, right? Because they don't have an arrow and they're not scribbled out, so that means I haven't investigated them yet, right? I thought I investigated everything over there. Uh, I want to go here, right? Or did I just come out of here? No, this is where I want to go. Turned around again. Ah, shit, I gotta remember where the save room is, though. I need to save right now, as a matter of fact. I believe it's room 301? It's one of these rooms right here. We save this beast. No, it's not here. Fuck! They need something scribbled on the map to tell you when there's a save room. That That's very important. Why don't they have that? Was it in the video room? Yeah, it was. Okay! Alrighty, guys. That's gonna do it for this part. You know, I guess th this is like m the minimum, minimum progress right here. I, 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 I'll take it. You know, if, if I was playing this on my own without recording it, man, it'd be even slower than this, guys. Because I, I really take my time when I play games for the first time. Especially the newer stuff. I just sit around and just look at the graphics for a long time, just walk around a new area and stare at shit, and, you know, try to immerse myself in it as much as possible. <sighs> Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode of Let's Play Silent Hill Blind, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, feel free to show that by liking the video. And if you want more, feel free to subscribe where you can be updated constantly whenever I upload a video or any such news like that. And you could go back and check out my other playthroughs and binge watch. And uh, this was the game virus and this was Let's Play Silent Hill Blind. Thanks for watching. Later.